trouble getting your ring doorbell to record audio or you simply can't get the two way audio to work what you know i do had to deal with audio issues with my ring doorbell and here's what i did to get it fixed so buckle up and make sure to stick around till the end of this video to not miss out on any of the crucial fixes that i go through that just might work for you Even though ring doorbells come armed to record and transmit audio from the get go, at times you might have to check and enable a few audio settings from the Ring app. If for some odd reason these settings are disabled, you will no longer have access to audio from your live footage or your recorded clips. So it's best to check beforehand if these settings are enabled on your Ring app. To do so. head over to the ring app and tap on the menu dial then select devices and select the ring doorbell next tap on the device setting style followed by privacy settings now ensure that audio streaming and recording is enabled once done exit out the menu tab and see if your issues persist Permissions are essential for the optimal functioning of certain features of your Ring app, especially audio streaming and recording. Although primarily associated with two-way audio, operating the Ring app without enabling the required permissions can indeed hinder live stream sessions to stream audio. To check and enable audio permissions on your Ring app, head over to the Settings tab on your phone and search for the Ring app. For both iOS and Android devices, ensure to enable the microphone permissions. If you're still facing audio issues in your live view footage and recorded clips, it could be an issue with your doorbell not having a solid connection with your internet router. Open the Ring app and go to the device health settings under your device settings. Scroll down to the signal strength option under the network tab. If the text besides the signal strength is not highlighted green, consider repositioning your router a bit closer to your doorbell. You could also opt for a Wi-Fi extender or a mesh network, but they do come at a premium. This is also the right time to check if your doorbell is getting access to the Ring service. Ring doorbells require a minimum bandwidth of 2 megabytes per second. to work properly you can check the status of your network by running a speed test pretty much from the ring app if the results are mediocre the first step should be to pause cycle your internet router before calling in your internet service provider in doing so you get to refresh the router and bleed the system of any static charges that can compromise the network to pause cycle the router just unplug the power supply and plug it back in after a minute or two With time, ring doorbells like any other smart home gadget can acquire bugs mainly due to a lack of updates. As a consequence of a bad network connection or any other unforeseen circumstances, auto updates can take a turn for the worse and result in a failed update. Fortunately though, there is a way to force your doorbell to update, and that's by removing the doorbell from your Ring app and adding it back again. While you're at it, you might as well factor in the doorbell for even more surety with bugs and error elimination. Carefully unmount the doorbell from the bracket and locate the reset button, which is usually located at the back or towards the side of the doorbell. Press and hold the reset button for about 10 to 20 seconds or until the LEDs start flashing. Once the LEDs turn off, the reset is complete. Now add your doorbell back to the Ring app and you should be greeted with a check for any pending updates for your doorbell. And with that, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about regarding fixing a Ring doorbell with audio issues. If you found this video useful, consider leaving your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting Ring content like this.